Hey guys, today is the second boat test, so in about half hour we have this little beast on the canal and fingers crossed going about two or three miles an hour under pedal power alone. So it was down to the slipway with the Pedalorium. Uh, say hello to some friendly boaters who was passing by and taking some photos. And give the Pedalorium a bit of a nudge, or quite a few nudges, and get it into the water. Uh, it took a bit of time because we had to take the wheels off, engage the props, and that's quite fiddly. But once it was in the water, just tried the electric motor first to see how fast it went. Zooming along. Okay, speed's pretty good on the motor. Happy with that. It's just on level one. So on level one of the motor, on the electric motor alone, it, yeah, it's doing about two or three miles an hour. It's pretty good, about the same as what we did when we just did the test of just the catamaran alone. But that was probably because we had the wheels dragging behind us last time. So uh, that did make a big difference to the speed, definitely. So now it's time to try the pedals and uh, here's the moment of truth. Will the new prop shafts work? Will the new props work? Unfortunately the first time they didn't and that was the problem because uh, we had a massive amount of weed wrapped around one of the props. So I had to uh, abandon the starboard prop and hop over to the other side and try the port prop. This thankfully worked okay but as you can see um, even though this is not speeded up I'm pedaling in real time here it's got a different gearbox on and you have to pedal like crazy to go at any speed at all. So I've got to change that gearbox. So we've got to take it in now and just get the uh, weed off the prop because there's loads of weed wrapped around the starboard side. Port side's okay and that's pedaling okay but we ran in circles obviously. So uh, let's go and get rid of that weed. We were going around in circles because I didn't bother putting the proper rudders on this time. I just put the electric motor on there. But you can see that with the electric motor, it glides along quite nicely and controls itself pretty well. And yeah, you seem to be moving along at a decent enough speed. Back it up to the slipway once more. And now it's time to get all that horrible weed off the prop. But first of all, we've got to try and crawl in and actually reach the prop, which is not that easy. Second attempt, back out on the water, and this time the prop was working really well. I was really happy with it. And it's moving quite fast as well, about two to three miles an hour, probably the same speed as the electric motor. Okay, this is the right hand side. Just pedaling on the right hand side, and yes, we're going around circles, but. Pretty fast. Nice with this. The prop is catching there and making a noise, but speed wise, I think we're doing alright. It's quite hard work. I think I need to uh, smooth the mechanism a bit. But it works! So we were going around in circles mainly because I didn't bother putting the rudder on this time and I was just pedalling on one side and as they're independent prop shafts with independent propellers on them, if you pedal one side, you're going to go around in circles, without a rudder of course. So it's purely to test that the mechanism worked and it did, I was really happy with it. It needs tweaking but this was purely a test to get it out on the water and as you can see I was happy as Larry with this. It does stick up quite a bit at the front, so I need to move the body of the DeLorean further forward so it's a bit more balanced. And it does look like it's trying to take off at the moment with its uh, at that sort of angle. So once back at the slipway, it was time to just nudge it back on there gently and disengage the props which is a bit fiddly when you're balancing it on the end of the slipway. It's quite awkward to move as well because this must weigh about 400 kilos now. So once you disengage the props, we can drag it up the slipway a bit and then in 
install the wheels on the front of the chassis and do the same with the back and then actually tow that on the concrete all the way up onto the back of the truck. Then with the final few pieces loaded, like the fenders, which we didn't really use, it was time to get it back in the truck and drive back towards the workshop. Not quite sure what people in Hackney and Central London thought of this site on the back of a recovery truck, but we've got quite a few smiles and some odd looks as well, but mostly smiles. Hey guys, so we're back in the workshop um, and it was a pretty successful test run, I think. Um, I was really happy with it. Obviously, things like the gearbox banging or the prop shaft banging against the bike frame was a bit of a pain, but it worked. That was the main thing. I need to replace the gearbox on that other side with the uh, better ratio one, so it's two to one ratio. And also put smaller cogs down here so that uh, we get a better ratio of pedaling as well. The big thing is that we're probably going to have to move the body a bit further forward so that it balances better because obviously as you saw in the video earlier it was like that so it looked like it's about to take off which is not the uh, impression we're going for we want it to be nice and sleek in the water a few other tweaks here maybe with um, sorting out the wheels um, so that they're just nice pop-up wheels and it's a lot easier i don't have to faff about with that every time we launch it we're going to get a trolley a launching trolley or a trader for it anyway but it just would be nice to have those wheels that I can just pop up and pop down uh, whenever we need it. Overall though it was a pretty successful test run so I was happy with that and yeah it's going to get on and make some more tweaks now. So join us next time in the workshop when hopefully we'll have got all of this work done and we'll get it back on the water again for a third test and that fingers crossed should be just right it'll be just floating right and everything will be just the way we want it. See you soon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more silly stuff like this, just click the subscribe button. You can also follow my adventures on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Search for Pedalorian or click the links in the description.